everybody. So, sorry for a car vlog, but it, things have just been crazy lately, and uh, this is a chance to do a video, so I wanted to do it while I could. Uh, sorry if it gets kind of bright from the windows. So, I wanted to do a little update. I feel like so much has been going on lately, and on Monday, uh, we had dinner with the birth mom and her boyfriend with our families. Um, you know, my... Our families have been asking about, you know, if they got to meet her, because they did meet Hudson's birth parents, um, and so they wanted to get together with her, and so we actually decided to have dinner at my parents' house, um, and, you know, yet again just shows the difference of situations, because Hudson's birth parents uh, don't know where we live, don't know where any of our family lives. And we've already invited her. She, I pointed out our house as we drove by it. And uh, then we had dinner at my parents' house. So just, you know, every situation is different. And I really suggest, you know, especially if you're doing a private adoption and it's just you and the birth mom or birth parents, um, really kind of just go at your pace and what you feel comfortable with. Um, but so we had dinner and she had been craving some steak. I guess she needed that iron and protein, so we, um, we splurged and we had a steak dinner at my parents' house, and it was going to be just our parents and then uh, my brother and his wife and Chase's sister and her boyfriend, uh, but Chase's sister was actually sick, so she uh, didn't come. She didn't want to get uh, anybody else sick, especially not the birth mom, so her and her boyfriend uh, didn't come, but they do want to meet again. Everything went great. Um, she said she loved our family. She was nervous about them liking her, and I was like, I promise you, they're more nervous about you liking them, um, because, you know, that's, that's what really matters. We need her to like us, but she said she had a great time, that she really enjoyed getting to know everybody, that, um, you know, everybody seemed real, and we're just a happy family, which is what she wanted. Sorry, I feel like I'm all over. Hopefully, I'm not making y'all dizzy, <laughs> um, but that, you know, everything was great with her and she was so happy and she keeps telling me how happy she is that, uh, you know, she found us and I'm like, I promise you it's the other way around. We're so happy and so thankful for you. Um, sorry, I feel like I'm really all over the place with this camera. I'm trying to keep it still. Uh, but so, yeah, everything was great. Her boyfriend came along and he, I like him. He's really nice, really, he's kind of quiet, but, um, He's really nice and really great to her, so that's what really matters. And, yeah, so that, you know, this last, like, week and a half has been super busy because we met the birth father. He signed his rights over. We found out the gender at the anatomy scan, and then now she's met our families. So, uh, we don't have anything else planned as of right now, I'm sure. Um, you know, it tends about once a week we've been getting together either for lunch or dinner. Um... So I'm sure we'll keep going along those lines of getting together and keeping contact with her. Because uh, that was part that's a lot different with this one than with Hudson's. Because um, by the time when we first met with Hudson's birth parents, she was 24 weeks along. And now um, this birth mom is 24 weeks along. But we've already been meeting with her for a month and a half. So it's just longer that everything has to be done. Um, you're not done, but you know, just you want to keep in close contact and you want to keep those ties together uh, more than, you know, maybe afterwards, with, depending on the birth mom, how she feels about contact. Um, but so we're just trying to, you know, build this relationship and keep everything, uh, you know, keep the relationship growing and getting to know each other better. And yeah, but so everything 